Bryson, good to see you, my friend. Um, so how long is too long with spring training? Are you like, we done now? <laughs> uh, no, not yet. Maybe a day or two, but uh, yeah, it's, I always tell everyone it's weird. You're so excited to, to get back into the swing of things and, and see all the guys that you haven't yeah. seen for three months and then play two, two and a half weeks of games and you want the season to start. So uh, yeah, it's been, it's been fun though. So I, I'm guessing you're looking forward to the regular season right around the corner. How long did it take you to get over what happened last year? I mean, did you let that marinate a little bit, or is it sort of like brush um, it aside? I mean, you want to brush it to the side, right? But uh, I don't know if we'll ever kind of get over that that feeling of needing one more game three times. And uh, yeah, I don't think that feeling is ever going to go away. But the best you could do is is go out and uh, get back there and, and make sure that doesn't ever happen again. And um, yeah, I don't think anyone's over it, right. but I um, think there's different stages of being over it. Sure. You got to be over it enough to to go out and, and play again and uh, try to get back there. But yeah, I don't think it's ever going to be. I mean, it, at least for me, I don't think it's ever going to be something that's completely out of my mind or or over. So, do those things linger? Is that is that a worry or is it? No, past that's the past? yeah. That's kind of point I'm getting at is is you're over it enough to where you're like okay it's it's done with but yeah. it shouldn't have happened um, and you it's not like you're talking about it yeah obviously you gotta it. you gotta move on and and play this year and in the years coming but um, it's just one of those things that you're like it still happened and, right. and you can't believe it happened and um, I don't think anyone in the clubhouse could believe it happened but it, it happened and um, you move on like I said enough to to keep playing and, and get back there, but obviously you never are really going to be over that that feeling. So, how do you look at this regular season? I mean, I know 162, you got to take it a game at a time, but does it feel like a, a World Series or bust situation? I mean, I feel like that's always your your thought going in. Is is I mean, this team's built for for those playoffs and, and those runs, and um, I mean, even compared to last year, Rangers healthy. Um, the guys aren't in the WBC and, and yeah. everyone's here together and, and Bryce is healthy to start the year and um, I think we're definitely in a better spot, healthier spot and um, obviously you have those those skids throughout, throughout the year where you're not playing very well and um, we haven't started good the past couple of years and, and that's a big thing is we want to start fast and um, I mean it feels like last year we started 0-4, and 0-5 and, and we look up and we're 10 games back and um, it's something you don't want to do, and uh, yeah, try to get off on the right foot this time. So you've got regular season goals with the team in mind. How about individually speaking? Where do you want to see some growth? Yeah, I mean, obviously you want to stay on the field. Um, yeah. The best thing you could do is play and, and play as many games as you can, so that's always a big goal of mine, and um, not really one to, to sit down and be like, I want to hit 350, I want to hit 40 homers. It's I've always been taught that if the team's succeeding, you're, you have to be succeeding or the team's not succeeding. So um, I think if we're playing good as a team, everyone's stats are going to be where they want. And sure. the ultimate stat is wins and losses. And um, and you could go 0 for 4, but you can make a diving play to save the game. And that doesn't show up in the box score and, and we have a win. So um, that's what shows up. And, and I think that's a lot of the mindset of the guys in there. So How reassuring is it that you have pretty much the whole team back, same lineup? top three actually been basically same rotation too yeah um it's good uh i mean i've can come to big league camp four years now and um you don't see that um even when i was on the minor league side yeah. coming over it was like oh there's new guy there new guy there right. new guy there but here you look around and it's same guy same guy same guy oh there's a new guy same guy <laughs> same guy so um i mean uh, the the chemistry is is at an all-time high and um i mean you go through 162 games with with guys and um, you see who each other really is sure. when times get tough when times are good and I think everyone's kind of on that even keel kind of mindset and I think that's what makes our clubhouse awesome and, and our team good so how's uh how's dad life it's good. At home? Yeah. I, I get any sleep what's going yeah, on yeah she's been knock on wood she's been good, that's good. Um, her naps aren't very good but how old now? she's four months four months okay almost four and a half but uh, we're like your naps could stink all you want if you sleep, sleep through the night. night. So 
um, yeah, she's getting fun now. She's getting to the age where she just wants to look around and, yeah. and stuff. But it's she's awesome. It's it's unbelievable. I have a seven month old, and same way. Naps not great. Yeah. Sleeping eleven hours at night. Yeah. Good to go. Man. Yeah, all it's you perfect. want. Yeah. <laughs> don't even take her naps if you don't want to. Perfect. Bryson, thanks so much. Yes, of course. Thank you.